here and we are on day 30 of our Stronger Than Excuses 30 day challenge. So we are on our last day. It's bittersweet moment, mainly sweet because this is awesome. I am so proud of you guys for getting this far and today is gonna be killer. I decided to make it, you know, like really fun. So we're gonna have five different burnouts. Each burnout is gonna be five minutes long. We'll have one minute of rest in between where you can catch your breath. I'm not gonna be able to because I'm gonna show you the next movements. So remember to go at your own pace. If you need to pause the video, if you need to take a break, that is totally okay. This is all about you and your workout. I will be using a few different pairs of dumbbells today. It's gonna be 10, oh no, I'm sorry, 12 pound dumbbells, 15 pound, and then 30 pound dumbbells, and I'll be switching out. I'll tell you what movements I use what weight with you guys seem to like that but remember i want you to use the weight that's best for you that challenges you but allows you to do the movement perfectly no injuries here so we are going to get warmed up and then get into our first burnout of our last day oh man all right let's do this all right guys warm up time to start it up bounce it out and then rotate those arms forward big circles keep your core strong three two and go the other way around Big circles, nice rotations. Let's go for three, two, one, and crisscross those arms. So really open up that chest. I just burped, sorry. <laughs> Squeeze that back, getting that all warmed up. Again, keeping the core nice and strong. That tends to happen during cardio. I always feel like I have to burp. I'm like, well, this is not the best time. Let's go two more. Last one, and go ahead, shaky, shaky, booty kicks. Kick that booty back, drive the knees up front slightly. Keep it going. Let's go for three, two, and one. And we're gonna have our arms out wide, legs up, and we're gonna go ahead and kick across that body, squeeze that core. A little bit of movement, stretching out the legs, getting them warm. That's my song to you. Two more, last one, and go ahead, feet out wide, we're gonna sink down side to side. Yeah, we're gonna start out with a cardio circuit today. <laughs> Five minutes of cardio, it'll be reminiscent of, what was that? Day, uh, 27. <laughs> Three, two, one. So it's going to be that exact format. How exciting. Go ahead, open up those hips. Bring the knees out and around. You might feel a few crinkle crackles here. That's okay. Bring it around time, but take note of that. That might be your body's way of telling you, hey, we need to work on flexibility and mobility a little bit. Therefore, you have day 13 for that to always go back to. And let's go two more. Last one, and come on down to the ground, right into that plank position, pressing it down dog, bicycle at the feet, getting the calves. Really press those fingertips, palms to the ground. Nice job, guys. Three, two, one, and shift that weight forward, bring that right foot to the outside of that right hand, open up that chest, and let's go ahead and alternate. If you've been with me this whole time, you know this already. You know this. All the way open. This is where you get to really feel out where your body is today. Let's go one more on each side. Last one. And go ahead and meet those feet together. We're going to roll back and reach through. Roll it back and reach through. Remember to avoid the neck, avoid the head. Really tuck those knees in, round out that back, like a dying bug or a dead bug. I always call it dying bug because it's still moving. Let's go one more. And nice job. Plant one hand, you're gonna press up and reach. So we have those reverse table reaches. Kind of getting it all today. <laughs> all the way in reach. Opening up the shoulders, warming them up. Keep it going. All the way. Let's go two more. Last one. And nice job. We're going to go into that side sit. Left leg in front, right leg position in back. Hands in back of you, side to side. Getting those hips open. You can add some movement here. And remember, 
remember you can always come up to the knees, press those hips forward. I hope you guys take this, these warm up movements and our movement flow with you because it's my favorite way to warm up. Let's go one more. And nice job. We will be doing some plank movements today. So let's start out into a seal here. And we're going to go side to side to get those wrists, to get those forearms. Want to make sure you guys are ready for those movements. No wrist pain. And go ahead. Flip it around time. Palms are going to be facing up. Try to keep your arms straight and lean back. If that's too much, you can always come here. Just make sure your arm is straight. This one feels awkward at first. Three, two, one, and a few wrist circles here. Whee! It's like you're a magician. And then go the other way. And now you're Luna Lovegood. <laughs> and go ahead and roll up the shoulders. All right, let's go ahead and bring it back up. Bounce it out, jumping jacks. We're almost ready to get into the warm up. We want to get that heart rate up first, though. So let's start to bring it up with these jumping jacks. Keep it going. Let's go for four, three, two, one, and shaky, shaky. You got side to side skaters. Let's finish it out. Tap the ground if you want to to make it more challenging. Remember, this is your workout. Still warming up. Let's go four more. Last three. Two more. Last one. All right, guys. Shaky, shaky. I'll show you the movements, and then we'll get started. All right, guys, so this first one's gonna be good to me because I can just show it to you without being out of breath. So we're gonna have four movements, all with different amount of reps. It is all in the description, so if you need to, you can always copy, paste it, put it in a Word document on your computer, enlarge it, or you can just follow along with me. Write it down, honestly, whatever you need to do. So, we're going to have 20 switch lunges. You can walk them out if you need to. It's 20 total. After that, you have 20 plank jacks. Again, you can tap it out to the side if you need to. Eight alternating single arm burpees. So, have your feet out wide. You're going to jump back, jump up, and up, and then switch arms. If you need to switch that to regular burpees, that's all you. And then you have 50 high knees total, okay? In that case, I probably won't be talking too much because I'm going to have to count. <laughs> so what helps me with the count is counting to 10 and then counting to 10 again. At the last one, I say 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. That's what helps me keep count. So when I click this timer, we are going to get started. You have five minutes of this, starting with those 20 switch lunges, and then 20 plank jacks. Three, two, one, let's go. You're going at your own pace. You're getting in as many sets as possible, okay? <laughs> Keep your chest up. Remember when my legs were hurting yesterday? <laughs> this is going to be really funny. 19, 19, sorry. 20 plank jacks. Keep your core strong. Keep your hands under your shoulders. 10, keep it going, guys. First few aren't that bad. Six, seven, nine, 10. Single arm burpees for eight.
lane checks for 20. Extending the spine. You got 12 rows, everything's 12. So lean forward, back flat, neck is neutral, squeeze shoulder blades together, and then 12 diamond push ups. Hands like this. I usually stagger like this because my nail digs into my thumb. I hate that. <laughs> or I separate them a little bit farther rather than the touching. Um, and then you go into a push up, elbows in. You can do a regular push-up if you want to. You've got 13 seconds. Or you can come down to the knees. Better yet, elevate your body on a stable surface. Get ready for bicep curls. Okay, so let's do it. Curl, slow and controlled, bring it down. I'm using 15s here. Notice how I have a full extension at the bottom. 11, 12, all the way down. All right, 12 presses. Bring it up, elbows in, keep your core strong. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you need to, you can do a push press. Seven, 12, okay. 
rows. Row back, two, three. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, four, five, six. Keep it up, guys. For one minute in, 12 diamond push-ups. Whatever you got. one at a time, but you do need to be equal, and then you'd have to do 24, so keep that in mind. Two more. Seven. Twelve. Okay. Presses for twelve.
with the opposite side. 15 seconds. <laughs> okay. Come on, cat. <laughs> Get ready, guys. Reset up here. Everything. Three, two, one. Okay, so grasshoppers. chewy bar. All I need is this to be quiet. <laughs> Less than a minute. Okay. Oh, 
down to down dog push-ups. So you're gonna have hands into a plank position and then walk them out just a little bit. So push-up position, feet out, then you're gonna walk your feet in. You have down dog push-ups. You can have your feet out in more to challenge your stability. Crown of the head down to the ground. So 12 of those. Then you have 16 walking lunges. I'll use weights. Okay, just go forward. If you don't have room, just step forward and back. Less than at least 16 renegade rows. I'll be getting the big boys over there. Planking on the dumbbells. Row, row, row. Okay, I'm gonna reset the camera. Are you ready? With those down dog push ups. Okay, so let's go. Get in, 12. If you can't do these, you can go back to shoulder presses. You can go down dog in a plank. 10, 11, one more. 12. So if you need to, you can go down dog in a plank and keep cycling through that. Still working the shoulders. I'm grabbing my 15s for the walking lunges. You have 16.
Let's do another one. 50 seconds. Even better. <laughs> Walking lunges. Use the weight that challenges you. What challenges you? Changes you. Towards your goals. Towards becoming stronger mentally and physically. Whew. We got one more second, you guys. Okay. Oh, okay. Five seconds. Okay. So, last one. Strength cardio and abs. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're gonna have 20 press jacks. We're gonna grab a weight if you want to. Sorry, start with your feet together. You're gonna press up for 20. If you need to tap it, you can. Oh, then we're gonna have dumbbell squat touchdowns, chest up, sink down, and switch at the top. Then, our next little break, 20 small crunches. We're gonna come down, real tiny little pops. Okay, and then 20 plank twists, twist the opposite side, elbow. This is it, guys. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Water. Okay. You ready? I'm going to get this. So my back doesn't get all funny. Okay. Three, two. All right. So, press next. I have been using my 12. Uh, 
24. I'm going to use a 15 pound because this is the finale. <laughs> shaky. All right, guys, we did it. 30 days of craziness. <laughs> I kind of want to cry. <laughs> All right, we're going to stretch. <laughs> and then we're going to do a, our final guided mini meditation. <sighs> I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's do that. Okay, let's go down the ground. <laughs> so let's stretch it out. We're not doing it, Alex, I promise. I'm not tricking you. Let's go ahead and bring both knees in that chest and circle around. This is so exciting, guys. And then go the other way. And let's bring that left leg down, right knee in the chest and pull. So how is that? You guys want to do more of those on my channel? Let me know if you do. Bring that knee to the outside. Actually, really, I love it. As much as I look like I'm going to cry, um, those are some of my favorites because I feel like I'm going to cry and cross it over because it's something that really just challenges us and makes us push past our limit. And it's a few kind of workouts in one. It's like go through it once, okay. If you wrote down your score, then you can try to beat your score next time. It's another workout. You can do this with a partner and then try to outbeat each other or keep up with each other. And go ahead, other side. Another workout is trying to keep up with me or beating me. Another workout is adding more weight, getting, adding more reps if you want to. Bring that knee to the outside. So there's so many ways to do this workout, again, to make it interesting and fun and engaging again. And go ahead, cross it over. Not that it needs any more, <laughs> just saying. If there are any of you doing this challenge again, please let me know. I would love to know if you're going to repeat. Go ahead, bring it back. Let's rock forward into a seated position. Big, or big toes together, feet together. We go side to side here. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so bring those knees together, feet out. Now we're going to reach as far as you can with flat back and then collapse into it. Rock side to side. Whew. And go ahead and take that right foot, cross it over, hug in that right leg, right hand behind you, grow tall in the spine, and then twist and turn and look over that right shoulder. Breathe. Oh, this is so great. <laughs> that was one of my favorites, I have to say. I want to hear what guys, uh, well, I can't talk, I'm sorry, I want to hear what your favorite was. After, after a while, it's not even just the workouts, it's the talking during the workouts and um, editing and everything. Your mind gets kind of mushy when you do so much at once. Um, so that's why I talk funny. <laughs> Shake it out. 
All right. <laughs> And let's flip it over in a tabletop position, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Walk the hands forward, come to the fingertips. Go side to side if you want to. Bring your chest as close to the ground as you can. And go ahead and walk it back. Nice job. Let's bring that right foot forward. Press into it. Breathe here. And go ahead and bring that left hand down to the ground. Press the right knee out, opening up the hip one more time. Well, not one more time, but again. Try to relax that right leg as you press it out. And go ahead and bring it back. Let's switch sides, getting that right hip flexor this time. <sighs> I can't tell you all the emotions that I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Made me very happy. Go ahead, right hand down to the ground, press that left knee out. And go ahead and bring it back. Nice job. Okay, so big toes together, knees out wide. Sit back, modify child's pose, walk the hands forward, and go side to side here. And go ahead, shift that weight forward. And come into crisscross applesauce. You guys can lay down for a guided mini meditation if you want to. Or you can stay here with me, strengthening our minds after strengthening our bodies. Go ahead, close your eyes, go tall on that spine, big inhale, exhale. So go ahead and keep cycling through breaths while I talk us through this. We have been through 30 days together, 30 days of craziness, 30 days of possibly mentally healing ourselves through the guided mini meditations and or the vlogs, 30 days of mentally making ourselves stronger, physically making ourselves stronger, possibly spiritually as well. So today we're going to send gratitude to our entire selves, our entire beings, our entire body, to each other. Thank you so much, body, for taking us through these days. Thank you so much, brain, for mentally pushing through. And thank you so much to you guys for joining me in these 30 days of craziness. You are now stronger than your excuses. And I want you guys to take that with you. I want you guys to remember how strong you are and how strong you were through this challenge. You are stronger than you know. And no one can take that power away from you. So let's go ahead and if you want to repeat after me, either in your mind or out loud. I am strong. I am capable. I am enough. I am stronger than my excuses. So go ahead, one more big inhale. Exhale. And go ahead, clasp the hands in front, pull the shoulders in, big inhale up. And exhale, rush back, rush back, rush back. We did Yay! I'm going to come close up to the camera and talk to you guys now. <laughs> Alright guys, so we have finished our challenge. Some of you are probably like, well what now? You can repeat this workout and remember that I have over 500 workouts on my channel. So you're set technically for the rest of the year and then some. And then of course we will be continuing on doing our live workouts. I'll let you guys know, I'll make an announcement when we're going to do those. Um, if you could like the video before you go. Also subscribe if you want to, it would be so, it would mean so much to me. And also, um, I have a link down in my description. It says support my channel, it has purple hearts next to it. And I'm going to ask you guys <laughs> to possibly consider supporting my channel because I put so much love into this challenge for us. And I'm not good with this being like, oh, you got, can you do this? But um, if you found this valuable to you, if you improved, if you felt amazing after your workouts, I do ask you to please do consider supporting my channel. Uh, even at just a, like a dollar, that's cool, <laughs> whatever you can do. And um, yeah, I wanna keep on being able to make workouts for you guys. And I just really, I just appreciate you guys so much. I read all the comments, I try to respond to all of them, and I've gotten to know quite a few of you a lot, especially like 
throughout this challenge and then in our live workouts on my Instagram where we DM and Facebook and all that stuff. So I just, again, want to thank you guys so much. It really, it just means a lot. And you can tell I'm like kind of like nervy. Um, I think that's it. Don't forget to comment. Let me know what your favorite workout was. So that way I know, okay, I want to keep on making more of that format in the rest of our, uh, in the rest of my channel. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, I think that's it. I will be making more channels. I, I think I want to continue making more chan or more <laughs> challenges. Did I say channels? I'm not erasing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Too much editing done already <laughs> through editing all these workouts. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say. So thank you guys so much. Take those meditations with you. They're not just meant for that one day. They're meant to take you throughout life. Remember meditation, it's great to practice while we're doing it, but the real meditation is out there in the real world when you apply those things that we have talked about and stuff. So. I hope you take those vlog uh, exercises with you as well. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys again so much. And I will see you soon. Okay.